and Colin Lynch, Lynch wearing number nine. Edon Moxidna gets it underway. And straight away Kilkenny with John Hoyne trying to set something up. Frank Lowen hitting it up there well. Richie Mullally, great take. Nicely down here towards Henry Shefflin. What a battle he's going to have with Sean McMahon, it's starting already. Thundering forward, looking for the opening score, it's a goal! Beautiful cross ball, Henry Shefflin got across and DJ just tapped it down into the net. What a start that is! Sean McMahon, there was this marvellous record of course in the championship. 62 points so far in championship hurling and you can now make that 63. Huge cheer. They'll feel a bit better now, the fans, and the, the team may settle a bit more. It's 1-2 to just a point. Richie Mullally out here into the centre. Derek Ling, a familiar style, a style we've become very accustomed to this year. Here is Henry Shefflin. Shefflin scores! But it's over the bar. Thought he was going to bury it. Fantastic save by David Fitz. That could be in the back of the net. Shefflin is cutting down the middle, getting on the brakes. Great, great save. Nicely done. Brian Lohan having his difficulties there at times with Martin Comerford. And that's Eddie Brennan. And Brennan has hit it and he's put it over the bar. Dublin-based Skarda, Eddie Brennan, plays 13 scoring opportunities. Wonderful record. Clare coming again. They need a goal! They get a point instead. They took a very fast sideline ball there. The Kilkenny backs were caught napping. That could have been in the back of the net. Andy Comerford just looking around to see if there's anything on. And the referee has uh, blown his whistle. End of the first half. No changes on either team. That following the substitution after 20 minutes of Ollie Baker, of course, in there for John Redden in the midfield. And all of this in front of an attendance today of 76,254. Familiar pattern here, Derek Ling tearing forward, stopped, however, and Frank Lowen manages to get it out of the danger zone to Ollie Baker. Well, Markham there wearing the green helmet in at top of the left at this stage. Can Kilkenny gain from this here? Sean McMahon was rising up for that one. And the ball, I think, in the end will be thrown in by the referee. Ollie Baker is there to contest with John Hoyne. And that is a point. It's scored by Henry Shefflin. Who else? Six points as tally. One wide in the entire match. Unreal, Gerard, I'd say it's never happened before, but it's not into time. David Hoey dropping it in. They need something, Markham trying to set James e. O'Connor up. Having to go back. Forced away from goal. Colin Lynch striking, and uh, it's Colin Lynch who's put it over the bar. It's his second point. He heavily depended on the long-range freeze of Shawnee McMahon and the closer freeze of James e. O'Connor. Most of their scores from my notes here have come from freeze. They need something. That's Baker. That'll do. Ollie Baker, the substitute, with his first point. Claire have it one more time. Griffin shot blocked down. This is Richie Mullally. Can Kenny deny that point a little while ago, which they felt they might just get. Back there is Brian Lowen, partly blocked. Swept inside, dangerous ball, Shefflin! Henry Shefflin, 28 minutes gone in the second half. And that should be enough to secure the title for the Cats. Of the Clare full forward line that started, only now Gilligan managed to score and got two points. Once again, it's DJ Carey. He's got a goal and six points. 
and there's still about two minutes to play. I don't think there's much in it. The referee is calling for the ball. It's all over. Kilkenny are very deserving champions. Champions for the 27th time. The Liam McCarthy Cup. And Corin McCarthy of Runanisha, Captain Andy Comerford. Well, what a day for Andy. Man who came back from London, kissing the cup, taking it proudly home. Kilkenny the champions for the 27th time ever.